want to take a moment and remind you today that a wedding, as wonderful as it is, lasts only a day, but a marriage, the way it's intended, lasts a lifetime. Richie and Jordan, nothing is easier than saying words and nothing's harder than living them out every day. In just a few minutes, you'll be declared husband and wife. Kind of crazy, huh? Hmm. But you must still decide every day that stretches out before you that you desire to be married. So there comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their one true love. The one they're gonna, their soulmate. The one they're gonna know and love for the rest of their life. That moment came for Richie 26 years ago when he met me. <laughs> I laugh, I laugh, I, I laugh. Um, I'd like to say how beautiful everyone looks tonight, but Jordan, you obviously look absolutely stunning. Your beauty tonight looks, makes Richie look way more handsome than he actually is. Now, growing up, Richie and I were polar opposites. He was a smart one, I was a funny goofball. He was the athletic one, I was, and still am, incredibly good looking. We would fight quite a bit, and being the younger sibling, it was not, did not take too much to get him in trouble. But we did have our good times. We'd have our airsoft wars in the backyard, you taught me how to fish, and me constantly beating you on the golf course growing up. <laughs> uh, freshman year of high school is when I first met Jordan. My first impression of her was how sweet and caring of a person she was. Ever since then, Jordan, you've been looking out for me, and I love you for that. Um, over the years, Richie and I started to grow a lot closer together when we didn't see each other much during college and all. And I remember I was visiting Richie and Jordan when I was still in college. The three of us, we went out for dinner. We were on our way back, laughing, smiling, having a great time. And at that moment, I knew Jordan was around for the long haul. She made my brother the happiest I've ever seen him. And Jordan, I can honestly say, I think you're just the reason Richie and I are as close to we are now. Um, through thick and thin, you're my big brother. I've always looked up to you. I've always admired you. Um, at most weddings, a brother usually says they are gaining a sister, but today, that's not true. Jordan, you've been my sister for as long as I can remember. Um, now, if everyone could please raise their glasses. <laughs> they say you don't marry the person you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. And that sums up Richie and Jordan perfectly. Here's to the happy couple. Jordan, today is the day <laughs> I've been dreaming about since high school. I always knew you were the person I would marry or spend my life with. I love you more than every day that goes by. I can't wait to start a family with you and grow old together. All my love. Look at that it. <laughs> Richie, this has been a long time coming. I can't wait to see you today. When I'm with you, I feel at home. Thank you for always being the calm during the storm. I love how you know me better than, than I know myself. I promise to love you and always be there no matter what. I love that I always get butterflies whenever I see you after all these years. I promise to love you during the good times and even harder during the tough times. 
I cannot wait to start this new season in life with you. I already love our sweet family of three, but I can't wait to see it grow over the years. I love you to the moon and back. See you soon, Jordan. You ready? <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. I won't touch the hair. Okay. Okay. It's not moving. <laughs> I promise. Oh my goodness. Well, he already saw me. But... I know, but it's a big. You look beautiful. You look really beautiful. Welcome, friends and family of Richie and Jordan. We're gathered here together in the sight of God to witness the joining together of this beautiful, smiling, crying couple in holy marriage. <laughs> marriage is a sacred institution. It's a decision to love each other for a lifetime. It's a union based on mutual affection, trust, respect, and obedience, not only to each other, but also to God. So with that in mind, I invite you to join me as we welcome our Heavenly Father to celebrate and sanction this marriage. Let's pray together. You see, true love is something beyond the warmth, the moment, the excitement, or the romance of being deeply in love. In our world, love is often portrayed that way. It's often about how we look, about how we smell, about how we feel about each other. And feeling love's okay. It's part of what's drawn you together to this special day. But as you look at the words that I just read a moment ago, it's interesting to note that these aren't feelings that are talked about, are they? Love is patient and kind and keeps no record of wrongs. These are actions and behaviors. And that's because love at its best is far more than emotion. It's action. It's something that you do. It's love that you can see. Because if you think about it, God has created us for companionship and not isolation, for intimacy, not loneliness. He didn't design us to love or to find fulfillment in loving and serving ourselves, but in loving and serving others. Marriage is not about what you can get. It's about what you can give. It's not about what you can get, it's about what you can give. And in the marriage picture of Christ in the church, we see this as Christ the groom gave his life for the church, the bride, and so should we. And Richie, as the man of the house, that means you become that kind of servant leader to your wife, as Christ was, to be, become a student of her, to find out all along what makes her tick and what ticks her off, and all along <laughs> asking this question, what can I give? So Richie wrote this about why he wants to marry Jordan. He says, I want to marry Jordan because she is the most beautiful, caring person I have ever met inside and out. She makes me a better person, and I can't imagine life without her in it. I, I can't wait to start a family with her. I've known I would marry her back since high school. Pretty good. <laughs> I, Richie, take you, Jordan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I take you now to have and to hold. I take you now to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Jordan wrote this about why she wanted to marry this hunk of a man right here. <laughs> Says, I want to marry Richie because he's someone with whom I can be completely myself. He's always there to calm me down when stress gets the best of me. When I'm with him, he makes me feel at home and safe. He inspires me to be my best self every day. I, Jordan, take you, Richie. I, Jordan, take you, Richie. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I take you now to have and to hold. I take you now to have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Well, guys, it gives me great joy now by the authority vested in me by the Church of Jesus Christ and the state of South Carolina. I pronounce you husband and wife. Richie, your time has come. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs>
So it is my honor to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Richie Wierenski. Are we good? We're good. <laughs> Today will be a day you will always remember. You started the day off just two people in love since high school and ended it as husband and wife. This will be the beginning of y'all's new life together as one. There will be moments to cherish and treasure. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. Tomorrow you can bring your greatest of joys, but today it is all, but today is the day it all starts. Day. We raise our glasses for the beautiful couple and wish them all the happiness in the world. Congratulations. I love you. you're gonna do play it back like a million times because they know that you're the absolute the original